Orbiter has started retracting the orbiter access arm. Uh, this is the walkway used by the astronauts to enter the orbiter. In case of an emergency, it can be put back into position within uh, 15 to 20 seconds. T minus seven minutes and counting. T minus four minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Uh, liquid oxygen now flowing back uh, through the main propulsion system and back to the large storage tank on the pad uh, to cool the engine system slowly down to 270 degrees below zero. So it will not be shut. Uh, if the engine valves which control the purge fail to open, there's an opportunity to try that once more and then hold it two minutes and 30 seconds for an additional try. Normally at this point, the range safety destruct devices are armed, but that's not necessary for this test. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are moved through pre-programmed patterns to ensure they're capable of doing their job uh, during a flight. Uh, engine gimbal checks of the main engines are also underway to check their ability to steer the vehicle during flight. Uh, for the flight readiness firing, they only move from the start position uh, to the launch position. Coming up on the three minute point in our countdown, T minus three minutes and counting. Let's go for ETLO2 pressurization. Pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank underway, and the main engine gaseous nitrogen purges have been terminated, and the gaseous oxygen vent arm has been commanded to be retracted from the top of the external tank. The ground launch sequencer will check that uh, retraction at the T minus 37 minute point. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds and counting. Uh, fuel cells are operating on their internal reactants. T minus two minutes and counting. And liquid hydrogen tank uh, flight pressurization has begun. At the one minute point, the joint heaters on the solid rocket boosters uh, will be turned off. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. At the 31 second point, uh, there will be a go for auto sequence start, which is a uh, uh, go in which the onboard uh, computers take over the final minutes of the uh, final seconds of the countdown. Coming up on the one minute point. T minus one minute. T minus one minute and counting. And the hydrogen uh, burn igniters are on. They'll be fired at the T minus 10 second point to burn off any residual hydrogen gas under the main engine nozzles and reduce the chance of an overpressure. T minus 43 seconds and counting. Coming up on the T minus 31 second point, Mark. And we have a go for auto sequence start, switching control to the onboard computers. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We have a go for main engine start. Seven, six, we have main engine start. Motors up and running. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten seconds, eleven, twelve. We have a go for a shutdown. And 
We have safing in progress. If the computer had failed to command the shutdown on time, uh, there were a number of safeguards built into the uh, position, into the system. All three engines uh, are shut down. It appears everything uh, has gone well at this point, and the team has started safing of the vehicle. The auxiliary power units are in the process of being shut down. Water on the uh, pad uh, has been activated. Uh, this is water uh, which will be cooling down the surfaces, ensuring that uh, no fires uh, could be uh, started in those areas. It appears the planned firing in which the, uh, the main engines uh, were run for an average of 20 seconds actually uh, the first engine to uh, start was the last to shut down and should have run for approximately 22 seconds, while the, uh, the one which uh, ran for the shortest period would have been about 19 and a half seconds. And HDD, uh, how are you looking for uh, hydrogen detection? Uh, this is HCD. It looks real clean. Uh, there's no uh, indication of hydrogen in the ass. Copy. Good. OTC oh, to save you. Shut down complete. I mean that. Uh,